one of the most important things that a symphony orchestra can do is to be a reason for the community to come together. So if you program pieces like this East Meets West concert, not only are you reaching a new audience, you're actually creating community that exists outside the concert hall. In a city such as we're in right now, Fremont, where over half of the population is Asian American, it's really our duty and obligation to start trying to incorporate facets of their musical heritage into our own concert programs. The experience you walk away from is sensational. I think music is one of the six great pleasures in life. The Fremont Symphony is made up of a lot of people I know from a lot of other places. It always has a, a certain spirit about it and everyone is so eager to play. Oakland East Bay Symphony commissioned Juhi Bansal's piece that we're doing tonight. I was looking for composers who have written a great deal of music, but not for orchestra. And not only did we get a really great piece, but we got a really great person, too. I'm thrilled to be here with the Fremont Symphony. Absolutely thrilled. So I found this line from a poem by Rabindranath Tagore. Uh, the title comes from that, Where Shadow Chases Light. And the piece in many ways is just sort of an evocation of some of the images that that brought to mind. I was around the sounds of Indian music so much growing up, but I'd never actually formally studied it. What you see in the piece is less Indian techniques and more Indian gestures. There's a much wider timbral vocabulary, so you get different sounds, sometimes even ugly sounds, although not really ugly, but the not sounds that would be considered classically beautiful in a Western way. So there's a moment, for example, where there's an oboe solo with uh, what sounds like a strange kind of groaning effect in the background, and basically it's a super ball being dragged over the bass drum that makes a really interesting effect. And then of course Indian music, again in the spirit of ornamentation, it has often these really expressive slides and glissandi that you tend to hear in this style. The piece also does use a few ragas um, taken from Indian music in a very different way. I am a big hiker and backpacker. So when I saw that fragment of the poem I mentioned where shadow chases light, first thing that brought to mind was an Ansel Adams picture. You've seen those pictures in the Sierra where you get these big bands of dark and light across mountain faces. The forms of a lot of my pieces are dictated or structured in some way around something I saw when I was backpacking, hiking, or some visual that came out of nature. And in this particular piece, what I really winds up doing is shaping the form of the work. prominent African-American conductor, one of the finest conductors in the United States, leading a soloist who's Chinese-American. Our pianist tonight is actually winner of the Fremont Symphony's Young Artist Competition, which is a way many orchestras have now of promoting the next generation. And she plays extremely musically and extremely convincing uh, performance of this piece, and uh, that's somewhat unusual for someone that young. The two pieces that we're playing tonight 
Garden of Dreams and Power of Joy were composed by my father, Maestro Ali Akbar Khan. And these pieces were all Indian classical compositions, but with Western instruments as well. These pieces were to be a collaboration, a fusion between those two styles of music. Working particularly with Indian musicians, the biggest change is in tuning because of course the scales are different and we can match them in the orchestra, but only if there's time for us to, to really learn to hang on to whatever the new tuning system is. Fortunately, the people who play in Fremont are so interested in learning new things that they will go out of their way to, to learn these tuning systems so that we can match what the other band is playing. Dan Ryder, who's involved in the Fremont Symphony and performing tonight, he did a lot of the orchestration for that in conjunction with my father and Jai Utal. Indian music, we focus on the single melodic phrasing. So there's so much emphasis on the individual note, the notes between the notes, the slides in between them, and the, and the system of ornamentation which has been developed for so many years. Western music relies a lot on harmony and building and layering to give that same kind of effect. In European music, we do a lot of what we call rubato, that is the tempo fluctuates, goes a little faster, a little slower, and that's what we're kind of used to. So when you come up with something where you really have to be in the pocket and absolutely precise all the time, uh, that's a challenge. I'm hopeful that this evening uh, will strike a chord about wanting to say, you know, that was a good experience. Not only do I want to come back, but I like to tell my friend, I like to tell a family member, a business associate, that the Fremont Symphony Orchestra is worth supporting. Any opportunity that classical music from a different country can be shown and combined in a way where it's accessible, I think, is a good thing. Um, they're both such beautiful art forms. The feeling of hundreds of people coming together and experiencing something at the same time uh, is very emotional, very empowering, and it's very much community building. And a symphony orchestra is an excellent uh, rallying point when they program uh, as intelligently as this sort of East meets West program that really covers a lot of the people that live in Fremont.